Liramel now provides you with the lowest cost GPUs, and they are 100% green as well. Step 1. Set up an autoscaler that will launch remote machines to run your code on and shut them back down again when you're done. Open the wizard, select your favorite GPU, leave everything else alone and click launch to start the autoscaler. Don't worry though, we're not actually launching any machines just yet, only the autoscaler. You'll only have to do this step once. Step 2. Go into your training code and add these two lines to the top of the main script. Then run the script locally to check that it works. Congratulations! This run is now captured in the ClearML Experiment Manager. Step 3. Go to your experiment, clone it, and then edit the parameters to your liking. This task will be run on a GPU machine, so let's crank up the batch size and the amount of epochs and click Save. Step 4. And queue the task and wait for the magic to happen. The autoscaler will detect the task is enqueued and start setting up a remote GPU machine to execute it. Once that's done, the task will start running and will update its progress in real time to the experiment manager. When it's finished, you can find all of the relevant output here, as well as your newly trained model file you can download from here. Ok cool, but what if I want to run multiple tasks in parallel on machines with multiple GPUs that are also faster? Well. I thought you'd never ask. ClearML works with a queue system to schedule tasks to machines. Our autoscaler here is already monitoring the default queue, so we can make another one for our new fancier autoscaler. Let's call it expensive GPU queue. Now we can simply create a new autoscaler to listen to that queue. Autoscalers themselves don't actually cost you money, only when they launch a GPU machine do they actually start spending. Let's give the machines that this autoscaler will spawn some beefier GPUs and more of them per machine. Set it to listen to our expensive GPU queue instead of the default one and raise the amount of machines that can be run simultaneously, so we can process more tasks at the same time. If you need the machines to be able to access your code from GitHub, you can also add your credentials here as well. Now let's start it. We can clone our experiment several times and the autoscaler will spin up multiple machines to deal with the new load. One last thing though, each task will be executed inside of a docker container running on the remote machine. The default works pretty well, but if you need for example custom system packages installed, you can set the docker image on an individual task level. Just after cloning a task, you can edit this section here and add a custom docker container for that specific task. You can also set some extra arguments if you need to. If you then enqueue the task, it will be run inside that custom container, regardless of the default autoscaler setting. Go check out the autoscaler, we'll post links to various references in the description of this video and join our Slack channel if you need any help.